to the challenge solutions for last week's puzzle. Now remember last week we had two questions that I set you. The first question was how many ways can 50 be written as the sum of two prime numbers? So the key thing here is to remember that sum means add. So it's basically adding two numbers together to get 50 and those numbers have to be prime numbers. So first of all let's take a look at all of the prime numbers less than 50. And we got this list. Now we're basically looking at how many ways we can pair these numbers up. So if we start 2, well 2 can't pair with 48 because 48 is not a prime number because it's even. 2 is the only even prime number. 3 does pair up with 47. Okay, 5, well 45 isn't prime. 7 needs to pair up with 43. 43 is prime. So there we go. There's two solutions so far. Uh, 11, well we'd need 39. That's not prime. 13, though, pairs with 37, which is prime. Uh, 17 would pair with 33, not prime. But 19 does pair with 20, uh, 31. Okay, if we look in the middle there, those numbers don't pair up with each other. So that is our solution. There are, in fact, four ways that 50 can be written as the sum of two prime numbers. 3 and 47, 7 and 43, 13 and 37 and for, uh, 17 and 31. Now, the next question I gave you is a little bit more challenging. As you can see, the answer is actually in the corner, 56. I'm going to show you where we get that answer from. Okay, now, how many ascending numbers? Now, it's just ascending numbers. It's not how many numbers between 1,000 and 2,000. How many ascending numbers? Now, remember, an ascending number is a number where the digits uh, the next digit is bigger than the previous digit. So if we take this take this apart, if we start first of all looking at numbers that begin 1, 2. Okay, so starting 1, 2, we have these solutions that begin 1, 2, 3. So we have six solutions there. If we start 1, 2, 4, we've got five solutions. 1, 2, 5, there are four solutions, and so on. 3, 2, and 1. Okay. If we now look at solutions starting 1, 3, so 1,300 and, well, that means the next digit's got to be at least 4. So starting with 4, there are 5 solutions. Starting with 5, there are 4 solutions, and so on. Okay, now you'll notice the number of solutions each time is getting smaller. So this isn't going to be a massive problem. It's going to get easier as we go on. So starting with 1, 4, 1,400, well, we've got the ones that begin 50-something, then 60-something, 70-something, 80-something. Finally, well, not quite finally, 1,500, there are six solutions there, 1,600, there are only three solutions, and 1,700, there is only one solution, 1,789. So, if we take a look at this, in the first one, we had six plus five plus four plus three plus two plus one solutions, okay? So that's 21 answers, okay? Next one, we had five plus four plus three plus two plus one which is 15, then we have 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is 10, then we have 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is 6, then 2 plus 1, which is 3, and then just 1, which is simply 1. Now, some of you may notice this series of numbers, 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, they are triangular numbers, okay, and it's triangular numbers that links into this question. So, all together, there is this sum we have 21 plus 15 plus 10 plus 6 plus 3 plus 1 numbers that are ascending between 1,000 and 2,000. So even though there may be 9,999 999 numbers between 1,000 and 2,000, only 56 of those are ascending numbers. Okay. Now, when we make this question a little bit bigger, between 1,000 and 10,000, well, we know from what we've just done, between 1,000 and 2,000, there are 56 solutions. Now, between 2,000 and 3,000 follows a similar pattern, but it's 15 plus 10 plus 6 plus 3 plus 1, which is 35 numbers. If we go between 3,000 and 4,000, there are 20, 4,000 and 5,000, 10, 5,000 and 6,000, there are 4, and between 6,000 and 7,000, there is one number, 6,789. There are no solutions bigger than 7,000. You can't start a number with 7 
then have three digits that are bigger than seven. It's impossible. Okay, so all together, when we add that up, we have that sum, which gives us 126 solution, um, numbers. Okay, so thank you for looking at this video, and I hope you go and do this week's math challenge.